Our Andrew Peterson is on the fire lines this morning. She joins us live from Escondido in California. Andrew, you've been out there all weekend from above in the helicopters below taking a look at these fires firsthand. You know, and it's so tough, John, this morning taking a look. We're in this community called Harmony Grove. It's a 120 year old spiritual community that was hardest hit from the Cocos fire. Now, keep in mind, there were about 30 structures here. They were evacuated they only had about an hour come about Wednesday afternoon, and then they were able to return Saturday afternoon to this. You're talking about of about 30 structures, 25 of them completely down to rubble. I mean, I'm looking around for any semblance of a comfort of home that these residents could return to, and you really don't see anything left. This is devastating, and keep in mind, Talk to Cal Fire. This is what we're expecting as we continue to go throughout the summer and to the fall. Take a listen. Looking forward, I mean, this again is so early. What are you expecting or what do you need to do to prepare for the season that still lays ahead? We're just going to, we're expecting extreme conditions. We're going to expect more uh, fires this year. Already since January 1st, uh, we responded to uh, 1,500 uh, fires, on, but on normal, it's not around 800. I mean, so unbelievable. Let's talk about why this happened, why we saw fire so early in Southern California. There's this big dome of high pressure, something you don't typically see. If you're not from California, you may not be familiar. May, we call it May gray or June gloom because you have this strong marine layer that is typically here. You have this onshore flow that brings up the humidity. That is not the case. That's not what they saw all weekend long. They had these soaring winds that were going in the opposite direction, these offshore winds. It was very dry. The good news is today and really over the weekend, we're starting to see a low pressure system just north of us. That guy's going to be dropping down to the south. So that onshore flow, the typical weather we should be seeing this time of year has returned. So we're seeing that onshore flow. The humidity is great this morning, about 80% temperatures back to where they should be not seeing 90s and triple digit heat, but rather some 60s and even some 70s. So that's the good news. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean the fire threat is gone for the nation. It has just spread farther to the east. So if you're in places like New Mexico or Arizona today, that's where we have more of that elevated fire risk. Otherwise, across the country, the bigger story is just going to be this cold front making its way through from the upper Midwest and eventually spreading into the Northeast by about Wednesday or so, bringing some light rain. But really, truly devastating, guys. When you take mm. a look around, hard to even say if this is one or two homes or what was here. But remember, of the 30 structures that were here, this place was the hardest hit. 25 of these are now gone. Wow, the scope of that damage just astounding. Andrew Peterson is for us in Escondido. Thanks Heartbreaking. so much. Heartbreaking. Thanks, Indra. We're hearing now uh, from.